And on the Subaru of New England text line, 978 text, which is correct, this is either going to be epic or a technological disaster. But I think Shime has figured out how we can have Ty Law on the show and Stefan Gilmore on the show, right? You, I think we – all right, so let's get Ty back on the Harbor One hotline. Ty, you still there at your mom's house? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here, mom. I'm still. Okay. I was trying, guys, man. That, that, um, them, these planes be tripping out here. The weather's pretty – Pretty terrible. <laughs> All right. And joining us right now on the Harbor One Hotline, Stefan Gilmore. Uh, Steph, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How y'all doing? All right. So Ty delivered. We asked Ty deliver- to deliver an Ty. A-lister, and he got you. Ty, MF um, in law. And, and Thick James. Uh, yeah, and we have Thick James here. Jermaine Wiggins is dressed as uh, Thick James for Halloween Stefan, so. <laughs> um, well, Fred, do you do you miss us at all? Um, I mean, I mean, anytime you spend anytime you spend five years somewhere, you know, you go you gonna miss it a little bit. So uh, I definitely miss it. But, that's, that's not a glowing endorsement. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at right now. All right. What about? I mean, what about like food? I mean, do you miss clam chowder or anything like that? I mean, like the uh, the you know, the foliage for the foliage season, the traffic. I mean, anything that you miss? I don't miss the weather. <laughs> um, I miss the food. Some okay. good food in the winger, obviously, uh, and the people. People cool. Okay. So. Uh, uh, Bill, 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 hey, Bill. Well, you, well, you got well. Oh, come on, Steph. You got you got a couple rings up here now. You got a defensive player of the year up here now. It's a it's a whole lot of twenty four that we ain't we ain't accomplished that. So you accomplished something that you know myself or Darrell Reeves didn't uh, be. We wasn't able to achieve that feat as a New England Patriots. So you got to have some some good stuff to say. Come on, Steph. <laughs> yes, for sure. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I, I thought he meant like off the field, but uh, on the field, obviously, I learned, I played a lot of great ball there. Um, went to two Super Bowls, one one because of player of the year, all pros. I think, you know, if I wouldn't have came to New England, I don't know if my career would have been how it was. So I definitely, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate coming there, playing with some great players. Oh, you in the right account. spot now. Oh, oh, you definitely in the right spot now. I say it if you don't want to, but so right now, what we're doing because that's little brother right there. We 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 sitting there trying to get the resume. We get the resume so we can get that gold jacket. He going in the Patriots Hall of Fame. He trying to get that gold jacket. So I put it out there for him. You know that's what I always tell you. <laughs> Let's pad them stats. Let's get some more championships, and let me welcome you into the Pro Football Hall of Fame because that's where he's trending right now, guys. Stefan, we had a suspicion that the entire time you were here, Ty Law was whispering in your ear, telling you to go get more money elsewhere. Was that going on? Uh, we we uh, we had that suspicion. Before you answer that, step, remember the twenty four code. Do not let Greg Hill uh, <laughs> coerce you into no to nothing silly. But it's the twenty four code, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and, Ty, and we, speak uh, your piece. But let, I knew it was coming. I let, knew it. Go Ty, ahead, bro. Let him let him speak. <laughs> Nah, actually, when I, I I came in, I signed a big deal, you know. So I was I was I was good, you know. I signed a five year deal there, and it was, it was good money. So you know, and it just ended, you know, the way it ended, and it, it, everybody's time somewhere ends how it ends. So um, that's just how it happened. Uh, Stefan, you mentioned that you won one Super Bowl. Uh, just we just between us, why didn't Butler play in Super Bowl Fifty Two? <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, I don't know why he didn't play. You know, he's uh, you know, Bill. He he make those decisions during those times, no matter what no one says. So, um, the only person who knows that really is Bill. You know, if he felt like he wasn't, you know, wasn't going to help the team, you know, he that's how he felt. So that's that, that was his decision. Do you think he would have helped? I think he would have. I know one thing about Malcolm. You know, he's a competitor. You know, no matter good or bad, he's going to compete and he's going to eventually find a way to make a play. So I think he definitely would have helped. Steph, what what's it like? I mean, you know, you play for a few different teams, but you play for now. You're on, you know, America's team and how they're chasing a championship. And you play for New England, and it was like America's new team. 
what well, I guess what's the similarities? What's the differences of playing for a guy like Jerry Jones and a guy like Robert Kraft or just playing for two fan bases that are very passionate uh about their football teams? Yeah, for sure. It's um obviously the teams are ran a little different. Um but you know, like like I said in New England, you know, everybody was watching, we was winning and, you know, we was going to Super Bowl, so, you know, Everybody's seen you on TV, and, and when I came here, you know, I think there's a lot of. I didn't realize how many Cowboys fans it really is in this world, you know. And um, I think we only played like one, one one o'clock game, so all the games is really Monday night, Sunday night, you know, prime time games. So um, it's definitely, you know, it's just a two big organizations. You know, it's top one of the two best organizations in the in the league. So. Um, they definitely similar, but you know it's uh, they're different in their ways. Steph, we obviously miss you here in New England and all of the guys that were with you at that time. When you were here, there was still the Patriot Way that was still a thing in your mind. What was the Patriot Way, and where do you think that's gone in New England? I think the um, when I think of the Patriot Way, it's like uh, you got to be mentally strong uh, week in and week out. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, you know, in the building. They're gonna, you know, test you mentally, and you gotta be able to take it and um, be able to make plays on Sundays. So it's, it's all for you to be better on Sundays. That's that's the main goal. And um, I think, you know, I I see I've seen them play some good ball, but they just been at, not been able to, you know, get over the hump. Um, you know, Bill, he's a he's a great coach. Um, they just been, haven't been able to get the job done. Steph, you say mentally tough. It's ve- this is very interesting to me. You know, when you came to New England, expectations through the roof. You, you dealt with a couple injuries early in your career. You're able to win, you, you know, like you said, uh, defensive player of the year, a Super Bowl. Mac Jones, similar situation in the sense where, you know, maybe he's dealing with some things and he's hearing it. How were you able to maybe overcome some of those uh, expectations that you had early when maybe things weren't going a little bit right, but you were able to turn things around? What what advice would you give to Mac Jones if he's hearing some of the outside noise? I talked I talk to Mac Jones um, a little bit here and there. And, um, I just tell him just to you know, you know, keep, keep believing in himself. Um, you know, it's not going to be easy, you know players go through things, you go through ups and downs. You got to be able to fight your way out and um, you keep fighting and you keep working hard, you know, the table's going to turn and you'll start winning games, you'll start playing great. So I just told him to keep his head down because he already works hard um, and I think he's going to continue doing that. Whether here or whether here or elsewhere, talent-wise, you think he's a starting quarterback in the NFL? I definitely do. I think he's a um, starting quarterback. He's smart. He's he works hard. He can he can throw the ball anywhere. Um, he get the ball out quick when he can. I think he's a starting quarterback. It's just you know it's, it's team, it, I think it's a team thing. I think the team just haven't been able to you know set him up the right way. Hmm. We have the conversation back and forth all the time. If the games passed Bill by. In your mind, do you think that he can still relate to players? I mean, you've got Mike McCarthy now a little bit younger, but not that much younger than Bill is. I think um, Bill definitely can still, you know, relate to players. Um, he's still the same same coaches, you know, he was when he was winning the Super Bowl. So I just think, you know, they're just going through, you know, some losing losing games right now. And anytime you lose games, you know, everybody starts questioning, you know, can you relate to players or can you still, you know, coach and things like that? So I just think they just, it's a team thing. Everybody just got to get on the same page. Um, and maybe it'll not be this year, maybe it'll be next year, um, but get, get some players in free agency and then see where you go from there. I mean, theoretically, today the trade deadline is 4 o'clock. Bill could trade himself. <laughs> to the Dallas Cowboys, and you could wake up tomorrow morning and he'd be your head coach. I've never seen a head coach get traded. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be crazy if a coach could get traded. <laughs> All right. Well, I, Ty, great get. Yeah. Good way. job, Ty. Great get.
We miss you around here. Thank you. Stefan, we miss you, yeah. and good luck the rest of the season. Because if they win one in Appreciate Dallas, you, woo, I, yeah. How is uh, now? All right, Steph. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming through, bro. I really appreciate you, man. Waking up early this morning. Ty, Ty, I got one. Hold on, I got one more. Does Jerry Jones ever invite you guys over to the to the uh, house? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. (laughs) He's uh, but he's he's a great guy. Um, talk to him every time you come out, and uh, you know he's, you know he. I always ask him about some of the great players that play here. Yeah. Uh, you, you can just tell how you know, passionate he is about this team. And so he's a uh, he's a great guy, just like Robert Kraft. Hey. All right, man. Hey, hey, Steph, I got a question for you, man. Is it like in, in in Dallas because they've been starving for a championship for a long time? Do you feel a sense of Super Bowl or bust in Dallas? You know, because Jerry's made it very clear that that's what he wants. And he brought you in there for a reason to, of course, to pair with uh, Diggs on the other side to make the best tandem in pro football. But it's only you now. Is there pressure to win a championship? Is winning a playoff game or two enough? I, you're right. I think um, it's, it's Super Bowl because I think uh, the Cowboys last year went to the playoffs, wasn't able to win. It got beat by San Francisco in the playoffs. Um, but, you know, that's not good enough, you know. Um, but I, like you say all the time, we got to take it one game at a time. But once we get there, we got the goal of the Super Bowl. There's nothing else. All right. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time this morning. Ty, great get. We appreciate that. And yeah. we will uh, – Steph, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll talk to you again soon. And Ty, we'll talk to you again uh, on Thursday. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, man. All right. Appreciate you too. All right. All right.